Welcome to this old shop. Today we're going to calibrate a test gauge on a gauge comparator, which is basically a pump with a digital gauge and you compare the two. Okay. So the gauge under test is this Weka test gauge, 0 to 3000 psi, and it's 0.25% of span or full scale. Okay. Our standard is a crystal 5000 psi digital test gauge. The, for all intents and purposes, the basic accuracy is 0.1% of reading. So each reading, that's the accuracy, not full scale. So, if we're at 3,000 PSI times 0.25%, so this can be plus or minus 7.5 PSI. Okay? So the first thing you'll notice is it's off zero. With this mirror you're supposed to line it up till the needle disappears but as you can tell I'm at zero on my pump and it's off zero. But we'll go ahead and test it just for uh, just for fun anyways and show you how to adjust it. So our first point is going to be I believe 750. Yeah 750, 1500, 2 75, 20, 2250, and 3000. Okay, so let's start at the 750 mark. So we're going to take this to 750 psi and to compare it against a test gauge. It's probably hard to see. But once I line it up, right there's 750. And if you look at here, we're about 69, 695. Okay. Now let's take it up to 1500. Okay. So at 1500, we're at 14. 57. Now the next point is 2,250. Right about there. So I'm at 2,205. Next point is 3,000 psi, full scale. Do my fine adjustment here. Which is right about there. 3,000 PSI. I'm at 2952. So, if you look at my sheet of paper over here, here's our tolerance, plus or minus 7.5. Okay, so here, this 7.5 PSI plus or minus, that's our tolerance, okay? how far off it can be at any reading. Here's the test point, 750, 1500, 2250, and 3000. If you can read my handwriting, it's pretty horrible. Now here's what we actually got, okay? So 695 is, that's 55 low, right? Way out. The next test point, 43, Forty-five, forty-eight. So we're, we're hovering around. That's how far off we are. Now we take it to zero and look at the gauge. We're off by one, two, three, right around fifty. So in this case, we would take this and adjust it down. See if I can do it here from this angle. A little bit too much. Okay. 
And of course I'm trying to line it up on this mirror so I make sure I have it right. This part can get tedious. Almost. I think that's right about there. Let me double check from a different angle. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? Okay. So we'll run up to one point just to show you what that did. Now there's other adjustments. This is just really basic. I'm not showing you absolutely everything. So let's go to 1500, nice easy number. So we were at 1,457 the first run. Right about there. So, so over here, 1490. We got a little leak somewhere. Let me tighten this. Okay, 14. Oh. Of course, it starts leaking somewhere. So we're about 14.99. Okay. So that's one psi difference, which is well within the 7.5 psi. All right. So that that's not a, a total calibration. I'm just showing you the basics here. Okay. There's all there's span adjustments. You can vent it. Um, there's a mid-range adjustment, a sector adjustment. We didn't have to do all that. Maybe I'll make another video about that some other time. So that's the basics of how a comparator works. Okay. A little bit about the comparator down here. So you got a couple controls. There's two. This is just a big tank. These are check valves. Here's the pump. This is your fine and your coarse. Uh, excuse me. That that's your uh, high and low volume. Your on off over here and this is your your fine and court your fine adjustment so you close this valve to lock the pressure and you pump it up and then you fine tune it in and once you hit about four or five hundred psi it gets hard to pump because of all the pressure so you pop that the uh, the low volume in and you, it makes it easier to pump up the higher pressure so that's uh that's pretty much it for this how uh Comparator works. If you got any questions, uh, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, and uh, be looking for some more videos. Thanks for watching.